Alright, so this is where we left it. We got those arms down. Um, the last thing we do need to do is weld all those points across there if you hadn't guessed already. Um, those of you who did guess and went on a dirt, good on you. Um, yeah, I'll just give that a quick weld and that one there, a quick weld across. Like so. Um, again, I didn't look for the pause button, which I should have seen. I was doing this not three minutes ago. Um, can't seem to get that point there. No matter what I do, there we go. Um, that should be about the right shape. You can see I've still got a big hole up here which I haven't fixed yet. Um, I was going to but I can't get distracted. Um, so there we have it. There's our basic um, shape. Uh, I'm just going to hit F buttons randomly to pause this. And when I come back we'll look at creating this bit that goes in here. Alright, so now we've got all those points there welded into place through the magic of television. Um, one thing you may notice if yours is cutting into here, um, just to that join there, um, what you can do is grab the points at the back here. Um, should be that one and that one there, I think. Actually, that side's fine. I'll uh, deselect that one. What you can do is just grab your move tool, turn your handles on. If they're off, and just tug it back a little. Um, I'll just insert one there back. Like so. Um, not a very hard or good fix, but. be honest, it's too early in the day for taking all this too seriously. Um, let's see how that looks. Oh, that's looking okay-ish, I suppose. Uh, you could fiddle around and shunt that point there and back across a little bit as well. Um, it's really up to you. Uh, if you're not really too concerned, you can leave them all how they are. Um, so you go, you can go and fix it on both arms. Um, now for the rest of this tutorial we'll be doing this blue part here. Um, it's not very difficult to do. Um, basically it's a rectangle with a rounded top which you can create with a ball. And it's got another knobby rectangle thing there and a slight gap in there. Um, to be honest I've got no idea what it really looks like. Um, the only thing we need to really worry about is the size. It did run right from the body point down there to that point up here which gives you a total Y size of 691 um, so we'll create a new rectangle um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da cube that's what I'm after, I couldn't find it, I was looking for the word rectangle um, with a Y size of 691 And we also need to measure the distance through here. It's pretty um, about in size from that point there to a point at the back corner there, um, which gives an. Oh, I'm totally lost. What I'm doing X size with about 36. So back to our rectangle, an X size of 36. And 
for the width, of course, we need to measure that as well. Uh, I'm a bit narrower than that gap there, which is 232, so make that about so 200 should be about right. That should be the Z size, 200. Um, we can bring that down and bring it into place, we'll see what we've got here. Two hundred looks a bit wide to me. I'll take them to one fifty across the Z there. And you can just move it down roughly into place. Just like that. Uh, we can drop blue material on that because it's gonna be blue. And also helps it stay there a bit more if you shuffle it around and try to get it looking right. Um, one thing we'll do is put a couple of cuts in here, because we've got to get a mounting block for this grey tube which we're going to put on in the next tutorial. So we'll use our knife tool for that. Make a cube editor tool first of course. Structure, knife, and we want to come to about that height there. Um, and we need to make a couple of cuts on the Z as well. So um, X and XY. Uh, I'm going through about there to there. Um, with that, I'm just going to extrude that middle polygon there out a little. Um, what I'm trying to do is get roughly what we'll stick out just past the leg here, so extrude that out to about there. Um, this tutorial put in a big grey tube down there. Um, as you can see here, and we'll put that square block thing on top. This just looks like a flat mountain block through there. Um, one thing we do have to do is put a curve on the top of this. Um, so we'll do that with a ball, of course, which is just another cylinder. And that should be on the x axis. And about. Um, 50, and I'll make sure we get the whole thing. And 100 for the radius, I think, should be about right. Um, like so, that'll go there and just cause into a Boolean object. Other way around, of course. I like that. And we need two of those. We can copy our ball paste it again and we can move it on the coordinates here we need to move that to minus seven five six and that part as well minus so there we go we've now got two of those that a quick render, you can see what we're doing. And you can see our R2 is coming into shape. Um, so, as I said, next tutorial, that one there we need to flip before I forget. Um, because it's moved straight across without rotating that there around, we need to rotate 180 degrees on the H rotation. Um, so you can either type that in or just spin it around as I am, holding shift which puts our block back on the outside. So we'll give that a quick render. Just like so. Next time we'll add this grey block with the tube and see what else we get done. Um, so I'll see you in the next tutorial which I'll post up in about 5 minutes.